I'm happy to introduce our presenters, Dr. Olga Kurakova and Dr. Martin Wegman. Both are data stewards in the Open Science team. What their role are and what they can do for you to facilitate your research life, they will explain you now. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to present ourselves. And um, I'll go ahead and start, and then Olga takes over later on during, during the talk. To give you everyone a little bit of context, that might be a little bit of a boring slide for, for researchers, but I think it's important to clarify that we just we didn't just wake up this morning and decided to give a cool coffee lecture. There's a little bit of a of history, and the history goes like this. The State Secretariat for Education, Research, and Innovation addressed the Swiss universities to formulate a national open research data strategy. For those of you who don't know, Swiss universities is kind of the umbrella organization of all Swiss universities. So Swiss universities came up with a plan, an action plan, and in that action plan, there's an action point that says, we want to professionalize open research data experts. So those should be people um, that don't do research mainly, let's say our researchers, and do a little bit of open research data management on the site. No, it should be a professional service, and we want to foster that. With that action point, uh, they opened a call to all Swiss universities and said, well, we want to support this. We want to give you some money, come up with an idea for your specific university that makes sense, that fits into this action point and that pushes this idea forward. The University of Bern um, created such an action plan um, led by the university library and the vice rectorate for research. And they decided that for the University of Bern, they want to have a domain specific support model. What does that mean? Before I go into details, it basically means that instead of, let's say, one person helping you with all kinds of research, um, this model is supposed to facilitate uh, more research domain specific. Um, so, of course, there cannot be uh, support for every single research field in the world, but maybe we can group some research fields together and give some specific more tailored support to those. So that's the idea that the University of Bern came up with. And now we're here. Um, the kickoff started this summer of our service, of our data steward service. And we are located in the open science team of the University of Bern. Now, I wanna talk a little bit more about these domains and how this model looks like at the University of Bern. So, the domains here at the University of Bern for our service are structures and structured in five pillars. Um, those vertical pillars here. So you have the human sciences, the medicine and veterinary medicine, the natural sciences, business, economic, and social sciences, and then finally humanities, law, and theology. And the idea is that every kind of research at University of Bern uh, is happening in one of those five pillars. And we're going to create a support structure that is mostly humans. But of course, there's also some infrastructure in there um, that support these five pillars. And then we have cross uh, cutting topics like sensitive data that's mostly important for human science and medicine. Reproducibility, which is, I would say, the final goal also of open research data. And then data science. Data science nowadays, of course, touches basically every other research domain. So those are cross-cutting topics that push through these five pillars that um, this action plan here supports at the University of Bern. So how are those five pillars, those five research domain pillars now translated into actually human beings, into human beings that we call data stewards? So today, uh, two of us are here. That's me and Olga. And we are responsible myself. I'm responsible for the natural sciences domain and Olga for medicine and veterinary medicine. But we are way more people than just us two. We are seven people all in all. And you can see that 
all of us cover, cover a different domain. And we have Federico, Federico here on the bottom left, who is most, mostly responsible to find a good red thread of data science throughout all of these five domains. Now, those are the people behind the data stewards concept. Those are your data stewards here at the University of Bern. And from whichever domain you come from, you can directly approach us, contact us. We are your first point of contact for everything uh, research data management. Now, what is it exactly that those uh, data stewards do? Our service is for all researchers at the University of Bern, including the Insert Spital. And we advise, help, and educate you in research data management. What exactly that is, I'll come to in a second. And with this new concept, we are much closer to your field of research than before. Before we had a very generalized support system, now we are closer to the specific research domain. And um, of course, we connect you to other services and infrastructure like our data repository, like the local libraries, et cetera, et cetera. Probably equally important is what do we not do? Um, we do not police you in any sense. We don't tell you what to do. You know best, you're a domain expert, and we do not quality control whatever you do. We also we are also agnostic towards the scientific quality of your data. We cannot tell you this is good data, this is bad data. You know that best and we will not interfere with that. We do not code for you and we do not buy any software or hardware or storage or servers or whatever. That's not our, our mandate. And we do not write a research data management plan for you. Um, but we support you in doing it and we teach you how you can write a nice one and we review it for you. I want to come back to this point of, okay, we support you in research data management, but what is research data management actually for those of you who maybe have a tough time visualizing it? What you see here in front of you is what we call the research data lifecycle. And this covers these different points starting on the top right where you have an idea you plan out your research then the next step is you think about what kind of ethics ethical question do i have to take care of what kind of laws do i have to observe you then create data that can be anything from a computer simulation to a photograph whatever it is that you do you write some metadata about the data you created. That's very important nowadays to have good metadata. And then finally, you store that data and you publish that data. That is what we would summarize as research data management. And we help you along each of those steps. We help you from planning it out correctly to think about what ethical questions there are and to, of course, data storage and data publications. So whatever questions you have around this research data lifecycle and everything connected to it, we are your first point of contact and we are here to help you and make your life easier. Um, again, just to visualize where we are and what space we are as data stewards, we connect with you, the researcher, through this research data lifecycle. This is our... Um, let's say shared idea, a share, share, shared, um, yeah, shared point where we come together and we help you with your specific research uh, data questions, data management questions. And uh, finally, I wanna point out that this is of course not a unilateral or bilateral thing. You are in this space of University of Bern. There's a lot of other services. And of course, you connect to the other services. We connect to the other services. And maybe the other services point you towards us or we point towards them. So that's, of course, a, a, a nice network now. And um, there's we all work together to help you with your research and to make your life a little bit easier as a researcher. Um, now I think that was it from my side, and I hope I could make clear where we are located. Um, 
as a philosophy uh, of data stewards. And now I'll give the floor to Olga to talk a little bit more specifics. Thank you, Martin. I will take over and uh, will explain why to get in contact with us so that we have scientific background and long-term research experience in academia. We understand your needs because we are successfully writing research projects and data management plans, which were supported by the funding agencies. We are collecting, analyzing and publishing research data or analyzed and published research data at the national and international levels across different disciplines. We are supporting you with writing data management plan, teaching you how to write the best data management plan. We have well-established network and happy to connect you, guide you and provide professional advices in research data management. We are receiving also some different requests uh, related to different topics so that uh, to review data management plans, to organize training sessions and uh, on requests for research groups and to develop guidelines in research data management plan or research data management life cycle at the institutional level uh, to review and advise how to prepare license and publish research data how to deal with sensitive and highly sensitive data and which tools to use where to share and publish data under which conditions and trying to link you with other services and support at the university. In our training support, we also offer workshops through the research data life cycle with hands on on each step, how to plan and update data management plan, how to ethically manage research data, how to organize files, formats, names, version controls, how to efficiently document research data, how to store research data, and how to publish and license research data. To support you, we produce also video modules on research data management with introduction on research data policy, with data collection and documentation, which is an important part. SNSF data management plan with ethics, legal and security issues, data storage and preservation, sharing and reuse. You could also watch this video on YouTube and we provide support in review your data management plan so that you can also submit online and we provide feedback in one to three working days. If you would like to have in-depth advises so that we would like also to see your research uh, plan as well. Not only we are talking about open science and research data management, but also we invite researchers to talk and share their experience in um, research data management, how to prepare and publish data. And the next Bern data talks will be on the 21st of November following by APRO, so that if you are interested in, please save the date. Please subscribe to our newsletter if you are interested in um, updating for training sessions and courses and developments in open access and research data. We would like to learn about your wishes and needs in order to optimize our training and consulting services and would appreciate a lot if you could take your time and uh, fill in survey, which is anonymous and uh, to optimize our service and support. Thank you very much for your attention and here are our contacts. We're happy to support you and provide your guide and advices in research data management. And we will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.